Hey, this is Gil Robles, and I'm going to take a little break from the gouache videos that I've been doing lately and do some digital work. I'm working in Leonardo. Uh, the software is a great software. It's an inexpensive software. I think only about 39 bucks uh, was what I purchased it for, and it's kind of like a work in progress because, uh, you, you, you know, uh, it's really still in the beta version. And um, so there, there's a lot of uh, updates being added. There was one that was added recently that I need to go back on the program and update. And uh, um, But uh, as far as it stands right now, I, I don't use it for uh, like finished illustration or anything like that. But it's a great sketch app. It's a great app application to do sketching in. It has some brushes that I think are really uh, great brushes. I love this pencil. And uh, it looks like the real thing, and, and I, I find it easier to use uh, for whatever reason than um, some of the other uh, pencils in, in, in other software. Um, but, you know, it's not as robust, of course, as, as uh, Photoshop or, or um, Sketchbook. But if it's, a great, it's great for sketching. And uh, so that's what I'm doing, just taking a break. Uh, I've been doing a lot of gouache and I'm still doing the gouache. I'm not taking a break from that. But as far as um, what I'm presenting to you in a video, this is what I'm doing. Uh, I also uh, want to talk a little bit about uh, two things. Uh, if anyone's interested in, in learning more about drawing and painting and, and in terms of if you like the work that I do, I have more videos. Uh, both on uh, Gumroad and on uh, my Patreon page. Now, the videos on Gumroad, you can either stream them or you can purchase the video. There's also a, a PDF uh, book where, yeah, you know, I go into digital painting. So the, vi the videos are mostly about digital painting. I do have a video that I put up there recently on gouache painting. So that could be like gouache, watercolor, and so forth. Uh, um, and I tend to do more. So, um... I'll leave the link below to, to my Gumroad page, also to my Patreon page. And uh, I, I can invite you to have a look because there's a lot of stuff there that, that's public. There's also a lot of stuff there that, that's uh, for patrons only. So uh, you can come come on by and visit the site and look at uh, some of the stuff that I, I've made public. Um, images and videos and so forth. Also, you can also have... Uh, if you want to join, choose a tier, and those videos, depending on the tier that you choose, are available on uh, for for my patrons on my Patreon page. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I, I'm, I'm I, I try to, to to give a little bit more there uh, to to um, to add more content and just take my time more because I figured that. People are going the extra mile to come and view uh, um, my videos there or my artwork there. And so they're paying to see something. So uh, there's, there's like giveaways like a, a sketchbook and there's uh, the videos. And uh, there's some videos that are just exclusive to Patreon. So, but um, come have a look. Come look and see what I'm doing there. And um, if you like this channel... Uh, this the, this is just an added extension. I am going to continue to um, to bring value to this channel, to do the best that I can, to put out my best foot forward because it's all my work. So I've got to uh, uh, be the best that I can be at it, and not just throw out uh, you know uh, things haphazardly or so forth, which I don't do. I don't do because my drawing and and painting in this sketch. Uh, um, like anything else that I do, I'm trying to push myself to get better at different things. One, to get better at drawing, to get better at, at um, putting, constructing this head, putting it together, thinking about, um, you know, what I need to change as I'm drawing and so forth. Um, not being afraid to use the eraser. You know, I, I, I tend to approach digital painting like a traditional artist because I'm used to 
using traditional materials. So even though from time to time I do use the undo and so forth, most of the time I reach for the eraser. And um, and it's what I usually do, you know, uh, when I when I sketch in my sketchbook, that's what I do. So and I'm looking for that same experience. I'm, I'm not looking for um, for shortcuts so much uh, because the experience of drawing, I don't like taking a lot of shortcuts. And this is why um, it, it's it's great if you don't have time and you're doing an illustration and you, you got to get it to the publisher and so forth but when I'm sketching when I'm doing things for myself um, when I take those shortcuts I, I take away from what I could have learned you know um, by using by going the more traditional route by struggling with the the work and 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 and, and taking the time to uh, um, make the corrections the long way uh, which is just you know just erasing areas or or not one of the great things about the, the eraser is sometimes I don't like to or don't want to erase the, an entire passage I just want to lighten it up or or or, or erase some of it and so forth without um, trying to uh, lower the transparency for the whole layer it's only one area that I'm concerned with so that I can, you know, make uh, make the drawing seem more like a whole. So, and, and so uh, I, I'm using those the, the the eraser tool, not just like I use the undo tool, but as a drawing tool, and it comes in handy that way. And uh, um, so, you know, I, I I think that it's important not to allow the program or the computer or whatever it is. To, to, to do the work entirely for you because um, it, it, it robs you from thinking through solving the problem, solving the drawing problem. Uh, um, and, I, I, you know, I, I think that there needs to be a kind of, there needs to be a conscious decision where you do the work yourself, you know, that you, you, you put the time in to think things through and uh, um, so to that end you know I, I, I use things the way I've always used them as far as the software and drawing is concerned um, and and this is a way of me getting better at my drawing this is my belief I mean uh, anyone can argue differently and ultimately you got to do what you feel most comfortable with um, and as a matter of fact it's not that I feel entirely comfortable with, you know, uh, um, nobody does. You, uh, consciously looking at your drawing and, and giving yourself a critique and telling yourself that this needs to change or you, you can't be this sloppy or, you know, you, 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 you're, you got to be self-critical. So that's not really comfortable. Um, but um, it is something that helps me to grow. You know, so anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, there's not much more to do. I'm, I'm pretty much finishing up this drawing. I enjoyed doing it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope uh, my conversation was useful. And until the, the next video, I, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.